Hey everyone, it's Sven from House of Secrets. I wanted to show you the first release version of the Attribute Spreadsheet. I've cleaned the code up a bit. There is still a lot of experimental stuff in there, uh, so don't go digging in too deep. It's still quite a bit of a mess. Um, I've added some features and I've tweaked some. Uh, let me show you by starting the Attribute Spreadsheet from the script menu, which is possible now, as opposed to the standalone. And you'll notice there's an always on top toggle now, which means you can switch programs without it going behind uh, the fusion program. So if I turn this off, it's the old behavior and it's behind the fusion window now. So we're gonna leave that on now. I've added the ability to do multi-select expression edits. So let me grab these backgrounds, refresh, and go to the, say, top left. my god top left and say i wanted to connect all these to say the background top left so i can middle mouse grab and drag it over here and they're connected and as you can see over here in the uh, tool attribute editor thingy that they're all connected i now also have the ability to remove them by using the equals minus x expression and they'll be disconnected. I'm gonna change this to just equals as in equals none so they're disconnected as well because we're not using the equal sign for anything else. Uh, I can also add expressions now by simply doing an equal. So say I wanted to connect all these to the timeline. They're all connected to the timeline now as you can see. Uh, let me remove those again. This is also a good point to show you a pretty annoying bug uh, I have to work out, uh, which is the, as I told you, the item delegate assignments that are Perot. Uh, these are not yet updated when you do a filtering. So if I were to turn off the filtering, you can see that the fit mask, which is a pull down or a combo box in queued terms. I'm not gonna touch this right now because it, it will turn it to none um, but as you can see it's on column three and anything if I were to filter this now again the item delegation is still on this column so if I were to tweak this you'll notice it's placing a combo box which is not what you want because it will screw up screw things up so that's the thing to keep in mind when you when something like that uh, pops up so that's a known bug I've also added the ability to do compound assignments. So let me go back to those colors again and tweak these to some values. Uh, say I wanted to divide all these uh, with the, by the file value of two. So I could do divided equals two. Oops. And they're all divided by two. I can add, I can add stuff. The same way I can subtract stuff, I can div uh, multiply stuff, and I think I've added the modulo as well. Not sure you can see that, but I think it did it. Five, six, seven, ten. Let me do that again. Yeah, that works as well. I've also added a, a filtering, pre-filtering uh, feature that happens under the hood. I'm probably going to build it into a menu or preference where you can tweak these. But as you'll notice when I turn off all the filters, that there are actually no inputs anymore. These were one of the biggest reasons the spreadsheet editor crashed. So I've removed those. Those are filtered beforehand, before showing any of this data. It's still there under the hood, but you can't touch it. So it doesn't get read and it doesn't get written to, so it can't explode. Another known bug, or at least uh, something I haven't figured out yet, is what I told you before, is the ability to tweak uh, point data, as in pixel aspect, which is uh, three axes, X, Y, Z, and the start and end. Uh, you can't edit these yet, don't touch them. And, and there's there's 
this item delegate over here that was an experiment that's still in there but just you you can't tweak it uh, the same way you can't touch combo boxes yet as i said the uh, these options are still empty i'm still trying to figure out how i'm gonna fix uh i'm gonna implement this because there's still the problem that sometimes fusion um let me show you that away right away sometimes they the combo box uses a fusion i a few id i think it's an enum uh, for its attributes and sometimes it uses integers and i can show you that by going to the uh, what is it rotation order uh, yeah rotation order the uh, particle emitter the, the renderer as you can see the rotation order is handled as integers and on the image plane the rotation is handled as a fusion id under the hood uh, what this means is I can't tweak these at, at the same time. I can still tweak it. You can just add uh, or edit it to this, the actual string, the fusion ID string. So I can go Y, X, Z, I think. Oh, probably has to be capital letters. Yeah, see, it, it still goes there. And in the same way I can do and go to this rotation order over here. Um, so there's that. And I have to figure out how to how to handle this because obviously you want this to be you probably want this to be a combo box, I think. Or not. Anyway. Um those are the two things that uh, you have to keep in mind. And obviously the thousands of other other bugs you're gonna run into. Uh also, oh yeah, that's a third thing you gotta keep in mind. Um use cache is mm, a half-assed implementation so don't don't you probably don't gonna use this it's it's not necessary and it, it it doesn't have a large overhead to just grab these uh, maybe more than you're, you're not gonna grab so much stuff that the overhead is gonna be that big that it doesn't run anymore so there's that so well grab the program and um, Give it a whirl and tell me what you think of it and what you run into. Uh, you probably want to know what you're going to need to use to run this. Uh, basically, just Python 2.7. There is no... I'm not sure if it runs in 3. I haven't tested it. And you'll need PySight. Uh, anything from... I think we've tested this in 1.2 or 1.07. And it ran okay in there so and the latest version will probably do so yeah have fun with it cheers